Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Prexis back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are obviously working on our plane once again. As you guys can see, it is pretty much nearing completion in terms of uh, functionality. It does actually take off. Uh, actually, being armed with weapons, it has uh, some guns on the front, which is awesome. Uh, it does need to be lighter, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove some of the blocks on the wings. Uh, as you guys can see right here, we do have blocks on the wings. Uh, and we're going to be replacing those with wing sections because they're a lot lighter. So we're probably going to do that. Uh, then from there, I don't really know what else we need to do. We need to arm it with bombs. It does need some bombs. Uh, and I would like a sort of like a walkway down here uh, and then bombs on each side if I can. Because that would be pretty cool. So yeah, I guess we'll see what happens here. Let's get going. Okie dokie, so first things first is symmetrical thingamabobby, symmetry. We're going to go ahead and start putting in the, wing, the wings, the wing blocks, uh, in order for this to actually work properly. So we're going to grab one of those uh, and we're going to start it off by deleting, uh, I guess from there, oh we can't. Okay, uh, so from here backwards, there we go to there. Is that going to be one whole bit? Yes, if we delete that piece too. So we will. There we go, alright, first block is in. The rest of them from there backwards uh, can then be done. Okay, so delete all of those, and we'll whack these in, pointing forwards, and hopefully that'll all be A-OK. -okay. There we go. Oh, guys, this is perfect. Bam! It is actually perfect, that's crazy. Alright, cool, so we got all of those in. We then need to go to the side, and we need to delete everything uh, backwards until we get to a point where we can no longer delete things. So delete all of that, there we go. Delete all of this to here, very good. Delete all of this, and delete all of that. There we go. All right, so far, so good. Delete the rest of this, all the way to there, very good. And now we just put all the wing sections in, hoping that they all fit, and that will be perfect. There we go. So I'm going to do this for the full wing, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okie dokie, so there we go, that is all done. Let's go ahead and fill the rest of this in, because we can no longer do anything else. So there you go, that's all done. Uh, if we go underneath, we do need to do all of this, and all of this, and all of this uh, as well. There's a lot to do, so let's get on with it. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okie dokie, I did it, and now we should weigh a hell of a lot less, which is awesome, because if you guys see this, uh, these big chunks obviously weigh a hell of a lot less than a single block, uh, and we've done it all over the wings, all over these ones, and uh, all over the underside as well. This bit's all done, this bit's all done, all of this is done, and all of this is done as well, so there's a lot of weight lost there. This bit, however isn't done, so we do need to do something there, uh, and then this bit is where the bombs will go, and I'm not sure how I want that to work. I really don't know how I want that to work, so we're gonna have to work something out here. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys do actually want me to add bombs in here, so we will actually add bombs in here. They'll, they'll be proper bombs. Uh, so we're gonna add a walkway, which uh, seemingly is gonna be very, very small, but that's okay. We're gonna seal this bit up right here, that's fine, and yes, we're gonna have a walkway uh, through the middle of this. Now, this is going to be the walkway, this thing right here, uh, and then these pieces are actually going to open up. So, we need to figure out how to do that, and then do it. Okay, so I believe it's this piece right here. Let's go ahead and uh, copy it and paste it. There we go. Uh, we'll take it to the other side, and we'll actually copy and paste this one as well. There we go. So, that's the bits that need opening right there. That bit should open as well, and uh, yeah, the bit at the back doesn't need to. Okay, very good. So we need to copy and paste these pieces as well, attach them onto these guys, and then have them fold open, and hopefully that'll allow us to actually drop bombs, which will be great. Okie dokie, right, so we've actually got these working, that is perfect, because now we just have to delete a little bit of this, we just have to delete literally two pieces, get ourselves a pivot, and whack it in. That's it, that's all we have to do. We'll actually put it on this piece, and we'll have it drop down like this. Okay, so if we merge this with this, and we do the same thing on this side, merge this with this, we should be able to open up these doors, and the bombs should just drop. I think. Maybe. You know what? I suppose they could be a little bit bigger as well, actually. We can have 3x3 three three bombs, if we want to, uh, which would actually allow us to use the warheads, the medium ones, uh, and be able to just drop those out. So we could have, like, I don't know, three of these? Oh, wow. We could actually have three of those uh, drop out. In fact, we could have even more if we stack up two right here as well. Okay, yeah. No, we can have, like, a lot of big warheads fall out of this plane. That'll be great. 
Okie dokie, that is completely fine. That seems, uh, that seems great. That, that seems great. Uh, that does mean that this walkway right here is going to be very dangerous while we fly. But let's see how that goes. Let's see how that actually goes. So inside the driver's seat, we need to actually put a button uh, to the Bombay doors. So we need a switch box and that will be great. Here we go, switch box. Let's go ahead and whack this in, I guess, one of these bits right here. Uh, that's fine. There we go. And if we can, we need to connect it up to a number. That number is not it. That number is also not it. But let's see if it works. So this switched value obviously goes to there. It goes to there. That seems pretty good. And then the on value will go to 1. Or minus 1. There we go. And the button that does it will be 5. Okay, spawn it in. And let's see if we can open up those doors. Okie dokie, everybody ready? Press 5. Okay, I think... Oh, we don't even have... We don't even have electricity to it. <laughs> we need some electricity going there. Hold on one second. Where are they? There they are. Okay, so this is going to go up to the battery. This is going to go up to the battery as well. And then we'll try again. Okay, please say it works. There we go. All right, awesome. The Bombay doors will open like this. And they'll close just like that. If we do open them and we walk backwards... Uh, do we have a chance of walking across there while it's... Mm. That'll be an interesting walk, but it is definitely possible. It's possible. So that's good. So now all we have to do is uh, be able to drop bombs. And if we want to drop bombs, all we need to do is put warheads in here. And I think if we do just drop warheads just as they are, I do believe it would be fine. Uh, and I think the medium ones... I feel like the medium warheads would explode. I could be completely wrong about this. But if I'm right, then that's a good thing. I can't actually place this in. They don't place like that. That's very silly. But anyway, if we do want to do this, all we got to do is copy this. Here we go. Copy it. Paste it onto here. There we go. And paste it right here as well. There we go. And take it to the other side and do exactly the same thing. So paste it there. Move it backwards. Paste it there. And honestly, we have to paste it back over this one as well. And we have to paste it back over this one too. There we go. So they're all actually separate. Which I think is fine. As long as we can keep them in there. So I think what we'll do... Is we'll have little stages like this and that'll be our positioning to keeping them in will it work who knows i don't know i could also attach them to the roof or something but honestly if this works it's fine all right spawn it in let's see if it does work we're gonna take them up into the sky we're then gonna drop them and hopefully they will explode on impact without an impact sensor i know it works with the big ones i'm not sure it works with the smaller ones but I guess we'll see. Yeah, that looks perfect. That looks really good. Good job, everybody. We did it. Anyway, let's go ahead and take off, and uh, hopefully we'll be fine. Here we go. What the heck? What is... Why can't we take off anymore? Why? Why? What? <laughs> Is that just because we weigh more now? Is that the reasoning? I don't know there. That's weird. Alright, press one. I can't take off anymore. I can't go up. I can't actually lift the plane in the sky anymore. What's happened? Uh-oh. Alright guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add control surfaces to actually allow us to take off quicker. So we're going to use these guys at the front, just like this. And uh, yes, we're going to try and take off quicker. So... Just put these inside of here, which is the fuel tank, I do believe. Is this the fuel tank? Whoa, just like this. Okay, I think that's correct. I do believe that is fine. Okay, right, give them electricity. So there we go, straight up to the cannon, that's fine. Uh, we are not doing this on both sides, which is annoying, because we need to... Ah, delete that. Uh, do it on both sides. There we go, put it back in. Give it electricity, straight up to the cannon. Straight up to the cannon. And then this will go to the gyro for pitch. I don't know if this will work. I'm not sure. It should. Like, it really should work. But I don't know why taking weight out has allowed us to uh, fly worse. That doesn't make much sense to me. But anyway, let's go. There we go. Okay, we're in the sky. Good job, everybody. We did it. Okay, we took weight out, but actually we put weight back in because... Uh, we did actually uh, add loads of bombs, as you guys can see right there. So let's go ahead and turn ourselves around. We'll fly back over the island, and we will drop said bombs, and hopefully they'll explode. Although, 
I think we might need to put them on um, hard points and like fire them out, but we'll see. Uh, here we go. Fly back over said island. And this will be great. I'm actually going to make it more daytime too. There we go. So we can actually see what's going on. I love this wing, by the way. I, I think it looks really good. I really like it. Okie dokie. Let's get over there. Yes. Okay. I don't know if they're actually going to fall out, but let's see. Uh, press 5. That has opened up the bomb bay doors. Go ahead and cut off the engine. The bombs have fallen out. Go ahead and close them. There we go. And see if they explode. They went out of sight. We can't see if they exploded because they went out of sight. That's very annoying. Also, uh, the other bombs didn't actually drop either, so we do need them to drop. So if we press 5 once again, where are they? Okay, and then slow it down. Oh, there's another one. There's another two. Okay, we're going to stop the plane. And we're going to actually fly down there. They don't explode! That's super annoying. Oh, plane's going down. Plane is going down. Mayday, mayday, RIP plane. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so obviously that didn't really work. Now, uh, to make something that does work, I think we'll have to make a bomb that is 3x3, three three, uh, but make it out of the smaller bombs and have a hard point on it so that it can actually be launched. So, how do we go about doing that then? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, also, how much room do we actually have in here? So if it was 3x3, three three, then what we would do is we'd have a line right here, all the way across the tippity top like that, uh, and the hard points would go on there, and they'd be fired off. So 3x3x3x3x3x3x3x3. Three by three by three by three by three by three by three. That's what we need to do. Okay, so here it is, a new bomb. It is going to be designed by me. Uh, right, so impact sensor. That is what we need to begin with. Bam, impact sensor. Good, that's it. Uh, no, it isn't it. Right, we need a warhead now. Uh, which is literally just going to be a small one. There we go. And we don't need any electricity for this, do we? We don't. We need no electricity. So now we just put a bunch of these together. There we go. It's going to be 3x3x3, three by three by three, which uh, is something we said. That's okay. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to delete these. Put these on like this. Okay. And honestly, we might as well make the front of it look at least a little bit like a bomb. So it will send itself down like this. Okay, bam. Front edge looks a little bit like a bomb. Back end doesn't. But that's okay. It doesn't have to. It does not have to. Oh, wait, hard point as well. All right, so delete this. And what we'll do is we'll actually put a hard point on the top of there, like that. And we'll put that in there. Okay, right. So it looks weird, but it is a bomb. Uh, and we will be using it. So, right. Impact sensor, that's all good. Go ahead and attach that to every single one of these. So they all blow up. And that'll be fine. Good. Okay, so there's our bomb. That's it. That's it. Good job. Okie dokie, we have our bomb. We are going to go ahead and place it in here. And obviously we hope that it works. So bring it to the side. Uh, there we go to about there. Very good. Drop it down to there. Bring it as far forward as we can. Paste it right there. So there's one. There's two. There's three. Actually, wait, 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 wait. wait. We need to edit this first, otherwise it will just explode. Let's say uh, 15. Let's say 15. We'll say 15 on this one as well, and hopefully that'll be fine. Okay, we need to then grab one of these. So copy it, move it backwards, paste it right there, keep it going, paste it right there, keep it going, paste it right there, and we are good. We're then going to literally just do this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and copy it, paste it on the other side. Okay, that's it. That's all we need to do. All right, very good. So now we delete this and this and this and this and this and this. There we go. We then get our hard points, which are going to be these ones. And we whack them all on there just like this. And we should be in good standing to actually launch how many bombs? Is that 10 bombs? Or can I not count? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 10 bombs. That's good. That's really good. Okay, so we still don't have any sort of, um, we don't have any, like, oh, what are they called? Instruments? We don't have any instruments in here just yet. There will be some. Because uh, I know a few of you guys have been like, well, there's no instruments in there, so you can't, you need to redesign the cockpit. I don't think we need to. Um, I might move the seat backwards one, and then we might actually delete one of these windows. Put a smaller window in, but have, like, a jut out of dials and things. Uh, so that would work. Also, if we put a dial in the roof as well. That would work too. So, yes. All right, cool. Okay, so with that being said then, 
We're going to get rid of six, which is these. All right. And realistically, they just need to go on. They just need to be on anyway. So uh, I don't know how we do that. But um, what does three do? What does three do? Three is the break. Okay. Well, I mean, three doesn't really matter for right now. That's okay. Good. All right. Good. Okay. So... Once we're in the sky, we'll press three and that'll be fine. Okay, so now six is actually going to launch the bombs. Here we go. We'll have it on launch instead of just release. And that'll be good. Launch, 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 launch. And that is all good. We're then going to attach all of these to each other. Bam, 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 bam. We're going to connect them to there as well. I don't know if that works, but we'll do it. There we go. Do the same thing right here. There we go. Connect them to each other. Okay, awesome. And then what we'll do is connect this to here, this to here. Okay, the bombs should now drop, which would be amazing. Let's see if it works. Okie dokie, so they are all attached, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and get in our little seats and take off. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, press two, press three, and we are good. All right, press four as well. Landing gear comes up. Amazing. We're going to turn ourselves around, come back over the island, drop our bombs, and hopefully do some damage. That's what we want to do anyway. Good. For an attacker plane, this thing is actually, um, it's a bit slow and a bit big. So, um, that's a thing. So whenever we're diving down on people, uh, they are going to be able to hit us. But if we're resilient enough, which we would be actually, even though the plane's huge, it would take some hits to take this thing out, I believe. So that's good. But anyway, press five. There we go. Look at that. There's our bombs. And then we launch them all with six. Okay, let's get over the airfield. As soon as we're over there, we'll launch them down and see what happens. All right, we're over. Let's see what happens. All right, two of them stayed in. We can't really have that happen. We can't have that happen. Oh, there we go. They fell out. They fell out. Okay. Oh, oh there's the explosions. All right, that happened. All right, the explosions happened here too. Turn the engines on and pull up. Woo! Okay, that didn't work. That didn't go well. Oh, it's flying away. Oh, jeez. Help. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> oh, God. Why is it just constantly exploding? What was that all about? Okay, so it worked. It did actually work. We're going to go ahead and go back in there, though. Uh, and if we can... I don't know whether this is a thing. Where is it? All right. Is there a thing that says the detached force should be bigger? Unguided bomb. I don't know what this does, but sure. Unguided bomb, unguided bomb, unguided bomb, unguided bomb. There we go. We got to do this for literally every single one of them. I forgot this was even a thing, but there you go. So unguided bombs for all of them. They all explode. So we've got our bombs installed. That's good. Okay, unguided bomb. Very good. Uh, we do need this to look better on the inside, but honestly, that's a job for next time. So we'll probably leave this here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Our bombs work, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's great. And we're a lot lighter now as well. Except we added, bo added bombs. So we're probably the same weight. Anyway, uh, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okie dokie, just before this video actually begins, I wanted to say that I do have a Discord if you guys do want to join it. There is a bunch of people on there that share links to their Discord, that, sorry, their Stormworks builds, uh, their Sprocket builds, and their Simple Planes builds. Uh, and yeah, talk about loads of random stuff. So if you guys want to join my Discord, it's linked down below. Also, uh, with that being said, you can follow me on Twitter too. That's linked down below as well. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.